Let's talk about science. What is really out there? And of what is it all made? The universe as we currently know it comprises all space and time and all matter and energy in it. Astronomers thought that the universe was composed of only ordinary matter. However, in the past few decades, there has been ever more evidence that suggests there is something in the universe that we cannot see. Perhaps some new form of matter. The universe is composed of energy and matter. 71.4% dark energy. 22% dark matter and 4.6% baryonic matter. The universe is made of 4.6% baryonic matter. Ordinary matter consisting of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Atoms, planets, stars, galaxies, nebulae, and other bodies. Dark matter is invisible. It doesn't emit, reflect or absorb light or any type of electromagnetic radiation such as X-rays or radio waves. Thus, dark matter is undetectable directly. Dark energy is the name given to the mysterious force that's causing the rate of expansion of our universe to accelerate over time, rather than to slow down. That's contrary to what one might expect from a universe that began in a Big Bang. What is the most abundant element in the universe? Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. According to the Big Bang theory, the universe at beginning expanded and later cooled to form subatomic particles and the simplest elements. Hydrogen along with some helium and lithium is the first element came into existence in the universe. Stars, the building block of galaxies which are born out of clouds of gas and dust in galaxies. Instabilities within the clouds eventually results into gravitational collapse, rotation, heating up, and transformation into a protostar. The hot core of a future star as thermonuclear reactions set in. In astronomy, the main sequence is a continuous and distinctive band of stars that appears on plots of stellar color versus brightness. Stars are fueled by the nuclear fusion of hydrogen to form helium deep in their interiors. The outflow of energy from the central regions of the star provides the pressure necessary to keep the star from collapsing under its own weight, and the energy by which it shines. What is a thermonuclear reaction? Thermonuclear reaction fusion of two light atomic nuclei like the tritium and deuterium both hydrogen isotopes into a single heavier nucleus to form helium, by a collision of the two interacting particles at extremely high temperatures, with the consequent release of a relatively large amount of energy in a neutron. 